In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add sparklines to your Google Sheets, as well as seven examples how you might wanna modify these charts to display the data that you wanna see. So let's get after it. Okay, so welcome back, and we are gonna get started with this video. Um, before we get right into the video, just a quick reminder that if you find any value in these videos, if you could please like and subscribe and comment, that really helps the channel grow and allows me to continue to make more videos. Okay. So now let's get into sparklines. So sparklines are basically small, lightweight charts that sit in cells as opposed to a normal chart that would sit as its own separate entity outside of the cells. A sparkline is going to actually sit in the, the cells and it's a lightweight chart that you can just kind of add some different um, conditions to and then display data the way that you want. They actually can be really powerful um, if you set them up right. So in this video, I'm going to show you kind of seven examples of that. Now, when I'm making sparklines, one of the things I like to do is just merge a group of cells so that I get the right size of sparkline that I'm looking for, but we could easily set them up in any cell without merging. So to start, we're going to just do a basic sparkline. And the way that you do this is just using the spike line or sparkline formula. So what I'm going to type is equal sparkline and then open it up and it's going to ask me for a few things. If you see, it's got the data and then comma, then the options. In this case, all we're going to work on is the data. So I'm just going to select the cells where my data lives. And then when I close this off, what you're going to notice is just a spark line that sits right in that cell. Now, the way I've set this sheet up, I have the actual code here. So I'm just going to uncolor this as we do that so you can follow along. Now, example number two, what we're going to do is add some color to this spark line. So I'm going to take this same formula. I'm going to lock in these cells because I'm going to be copying this down. So I'll hit enter and I'm going to control C and paste that spark line in there. Now we're going to add some color to this. So if you remember, it gives us our data, then comma options. So I'm going to put my comma. And then when you do options inside of a spark line, you're going to put a squiggly bracket and then any of your options are actually going to exist inside of quotation. So in this case, we're going to type quotation color, quotation, comma, and then quotation. And inside here, we can either type the hex code of the color or just the name of the color. So I'm going to type in red, quotation, close off this curly bracket. So if you look, we have um, curly bracket, quotation color, comma, um, quotation red, um, curly bracket and when you're setting up your options the first one is always going to be what option you want to reference and then the second one is going to be how or what the actual option is when I hit enter you'll notice that my spark line has turned to red so let's uncover that now so you can see and that is how you change the color of your spark line now the third one that we're going to work on and I'm just going to keep pasting this down is now we're going to change the width of our spark line and interestingly what we can do is if we want to add more options to this we just have to use a semicolon and now inside the the squiggly brackets i can use the command line width inside of quotation and then quotation comma and now it's going to accept a number command in this case we'll use three and when I hit enter, what you're going to notice is now the spark line has gotten bigger. So that's just one way that you might want to change that. So this is our syntax for that quotation line width and then comma three. So now the next thing we might want to do is set our actual max and minimum values. So again, we'll go to the end of these options and I'll hit semicolon. And we're going to set the Y min and max because we want to set the vertical axis, but if you wanted to set the X axis, we could do that too, but we'll say Y min quotation comma. Let's make that 50 and let's set our Y max semicolon quotation Y max quotation comma, and we'll make that 1000. And when we hit enter, you'll see how our spark line has changed. It's still the same pattern but because we've changed the y max value this is a lot more condensed so you might want to set your maxes and minimum values so i'm going to uncover 
that one. We've got two more here. So the next one is going to be a right to left. So we'll go right to the end of this. I'm going to just turn the minimum value back down to around 600 and then we'll hit semicolon. This time we're going to use a command called right to left and it just is signified to be RTL and then comma and then we'll say true. When you hit enter, you'll notice that we have the same chart, but now it's reading from right to left. And then the last one that we're going to do is actually change this chart to a bar chart. So the way to do that is we'll just go to the end here and I'll hit semicolon and we'll just type in quotations chart type quotation and then we'll put column in quotations and when I hit enter you'll notice that now it has shifted to a column chart. So those were a few quick ways that you might want to change your sparkline charts and different things that you can do with them. There's a few other options that you might want to use but this is the basics of how you can do sparkline charts. So I hope this video helps you out and if you have any comments, questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.